Ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to you tonight from an undisclosed location in the basement of my house on 87th Street. Just off of Tower, take a left, and you're there. What I need to share with you tonight is so scary and possibly so upsetting that it may be in your best interest to turn away at this moment. If you get an upset stomach easily, or if you're using watching this as an excuse to not do the dishes like Mom said you're supposed to, walk away now. Let me give you a little background first before we pull the sheet away. What's underneath that sheet are collective tissue and organs that were found several miles from here. They were clearly not human, but they maintained an eerie, almost scary resemblance to the organs found in you and I. And that alone has got my curiosity working overtime with the possibility that other life forms share the same organ systems that we do. I just, I'm, I'm so nervous I don't know quite what to do. Although no fully intact specimen was found, the scattered remains that I'm about to show you here were all located within 10 meters of each other. So it's a safe bet that they came from the same organism. Brace yourself. Now, this first structure, which I believe comes from the forward end, possibly the head end of the organism, seems to be rather heavy, muscular. There's a protruding flap at the front with a rough surface, and that rough surface has, oh, I don't know what you would call it, small bumps on it that uh, may indicate taste. Underneath here, there's again more strong muscles, and towards the back, some more of a rough surface. Uh, this is a strong muscle that, I don't know, may work to, to push food products back in whatever this organism is. But definitely, this was a huge organism. All right, next on our list of collected specimens is this very strong, muscular, I don't know for lack of a better word, sack, uh, maybe like a, a storage space for, I don't know, nutritional products. Seems to have a very, very tough skin and, and you know, it's big enough that it kind of expanded in case more product were go in there. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what it is, although, you know, the strong muscular nature, uh, hard to tell what it could be. Located right near there, was this product in a green pear-shaped container that seems to be, chemical analysis indicates that it's pretty darn good at breaking up fats. I'll bet you the two of them are related. It's hard to say, but that's my inference. The next specimen recovered is, is truly odd. It's, it's very, very long and yet narrow and if one explores it, each of these structures has a hollow inside, as if something could pass through the inside of it. There's a, a fat layer that's holding along the, the ends of it, and it's huge. It just keeps going and going and going, and there's just all kinds of folds and, and tears, and, and if you were to look on the inside, well, it's kind of gross. but. That's the way life is. All right, not exactly sure what this is, but it has a narrow diameter. Let's move on. All right, the last tissue collected looked very much like this when we collected it, but just to see what would happen and to understand its true nature, we filled it full of water just to see what it would look like. And it has a kind of an eerie tube-like nature. If you were to compare it to the other one, it is a much larger diameter than the last one, 
although considerably shorter. The other thing that's really interesting is that water comes through it. This is, whatever this structure is, it allows water to pass through it. It's semi-permeable. Now, this is the part that's going to blow your mind. There was another tissue found, and at first we thought it was a separate organ altogether. Because of its color, we figured that it must be something completely different. Then one of the brighter members of our team noticed that the diameter, the shape, was similar to the diameter of the other organ when we filled it full of water. So we did some more analysis, and it turns out that this very same organ is exactly the organ that's used to make the shape for these. We don't know what it means just yet, but I believe it could be important. Clearly, what I've just shown you will be denied by the NSA, by the FBI, and by the IGA. It's up to you to help to get the word out that there are organisms among us that have similar internal structures and yet no one is doing anything about it. Be brave, be strong, and have a breath. See you later.